Hey everybody, this is Tomas. I'm driving here going to the, the Polo, the Polo Club. Um, but I wanted to make a short video. <clears throat> um, we just finished the Fit Challenge. Um, our first Fit Challenge, it was three weeks. It was very exciting. Um, there on the 24th Fit Camp. Um, a lot of people were excited. That was really cool, really neat. Um, I really like to see people getting results and getting motivated, waking up in the morning and going to the workout, um, especially in these beautiful days of summer when it's really nice to just start your day really early in the morning, uh, have the right nutrition from the, from the morning and then do an awesome workout to make you feel more power, power uh, through the day and more energy. Um, that was really neat to uh, see people that are getting into this kind of lifestyle um, and, and on top of that getting excellent results. Um, so some people lost like from 11 pounds, okay, in a matter of four weeks. 11 pounds. Um, <clears throat> there was one, one, one guy there that, I mean that one girl actually, that gained 8 pounds of muscle. 8 pounds of pure lean muscle in 4 weeks, okay? Uh, that for girls, so you know that doesn't mean bulky, okay? Because we're talking, we're not like creating uh, mass, uh, bodybuilding people. We're just people that are recuperating muscle mass that they had lost because of bad diet, because of lack of proteins, because of lack of ex exercise. So basically, <clears throat> muscle mass means leaner, like leaner, more definition, more... Um, just better looking and of course in the inside what is what really matters like all the organs and everything in your body um, with a, a stronger tissue stronger tissue and basically improving your health overall so anyways <clears throat> I just realized that I made the wrong exit so I'm <laughs> just because I was talking anyway so um, <clears throat> what I wanted to say I wanted to talk about the one major mistake that I see in people that are trying to achieve results but basically they end up going an opposite direction, okay? And it's kind of funny because it's really easy, <clears throat> it's really easy to, to do everything like extra, the hard extra work like going to work out every day, like having your, your smoothies, your shakes, your protein, your nutrients, you know, like like taking your tablets when you have to do it, like doing all these like extra new things that are like sometimes hard to um, just put them into your lifestyle, like uh, turn them into a habit, okay? And they worry about like eating less like of the bad stuff, they want, they're trying to eat healthy, but there is like little details that makes those people like not improve, um, like not not take advantage or just having like little results when they can have like huge results in terms of like decreasing your body fat and um, putting muscle mass on you like basically becoming way more healthier stronger fitter fitness wise level improved level 10 that's what I'm saying and one of the biggest things is that I see on these people is that um, they have the belief that to get to improve in your health and in your and in you know uh, uh, achieving your ideal weight or the, the 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 way that you want your body to be, it's that they skip meals. Okay, so basically they don't follow the rule that you have to eat every two or three hours, like small portions of food. To maintain, to keep your um, engine running, okay, your metabolism going on. If you have breakfast, like, you know, we all do smoothies, they're low in calories, they're really awesome, they help you a lot, they control your hunger. You do a smoothie in the morning when you wake up, <clears throat> okay, and then you go do a workout, right? And then some people go and do their recovery shake, like a recovery smoothie after the workout, okay? So that's low calories, a lot of nutrients, that's really good, but then what, ha what happens is like, they're done at about 8.30 or 8 or something like that with both of those meals and the workout and then they just, uh, they don't eat until lunch time, let's say. And then after lunch time, they don't eat about very late at dinner. So they leave gaps in between where basically your metabolism stops. It doesn't receive any food. You're not hungry, you know, because you're doing the, 
the shakes and all, everything that controls your helps you uh, maintain yourself without that anxiety. That anxiety. Okay. Um, so. So so they keep they, they keep the gaps in between too too big too too long. So basically, those things makes your metabolism on, on your machine here that we're trying to make a Formula One. Like just like go back and forth like an old car, like it can't start. Like so, basically, one of the things like when you're doing your workouts, you're doing your your shakes, your pro, your nutrition program, and all that, you have to make sure that you eat every two or three hours in small portions, and of course, focusing on um, on a health on healthy meals and high protein snacks at least twice a day, three meals a day three meals a day two snacks a day at least I mean that's the minimum okay so that, that that's what I wanted to say because that's what I saw yesterday when I was evaluating all these people in a row that um, that's the problem the main problem that they had okay so just focus on that and keep on your program um, come to the fit camps they're awesome um, and then I'll see you in the next post sayonara